Hi, and welcome to Single Tooth Carving for Beginners. In this video, we'll be teaching you a basic carving method for the maxillary central incisor with some useful tips and tricks for carving. What you'll need is a wax block, a lacron carver, a wax knife, and a ruler. First, you'll start by marking the sides of the wax block. B for buccal, M for mesial, L for lingual, and D for distal. Next, carve a vertical line at the center of each aspect using your lacron carver. This will help you accurately plot your measurements on the wax block. Now you can start placing your measurements on each aspect using the lacron carver and ruler. Let's start with the buckle aspect. Using the incisal edge of the wax block as reference, measure 11.5 mm at the center of the buckle aspect to mark the length of the tooth. For the medial distal dimension of the crown, mark 4.75 mm on each side of the central line at the incisal edge. This adds up to 9.5 mm. The medial distal dimension of the crown at the cervical portion is 8 mm. Carve this by following the previously mentioned technique and plot 4 mm on each side of the vertical line. Next, extend 3 mm of the cervical portion of the crown to mark the root. After you set your measurements, use your lacron carver to draw the outline of the tooth. Keeping in mind that the mesial outline of the central incisor is straight, while the distal outline is more convex. Remember that the crest of curvature is located mesially on the incisal third and distally on the middle third. Repeat the same steps to carve an outline on the lingual aspect. Now you're ready to start carving. Start carving from the buckle aspect and move towards the lingual using a wax knife. Keep going until you have the mesial and distal outlines of both the buckle and lingual aspects. Once that is done, draw a vertical line down the middle of the mesial and distal sides of the block. Next, mark 8mm for the labiolingual dimension to serve as guidelines for your outline. Lastly, mark 7 mm at the cervix. You are now ready to draw the tooth outline using your lacron carver. Keep in mind the shape of the crown from the mesial aspect, labial outline being slightly convex, while the lingual outline is convex at the cingulum, concave at the mesial marginal ridge, then slightly convex at the incisal edge, where the outline as a whole begins curving towards the vertical line creating a sharp incisal edge. Repeat the same steps for the distal aspect. Now, you can start carving the mesial and distal aspects. Use your wax knife for initial carving, then move on to using the lacron carver for smoother finishing. Lastly, Mark the curvature line from the cervix towards the crown at the vertical line at 3.5 mm mesially and 2.5 mm distally. This represents the cement to enamel junction. Then use the spoon end of the lacron carver to carve the cervical portion of the root. Now, use your lacron carver to carve the distal and mesial sides of the temporary cingulum until you form a rounded cingulum. Use the spoon end of the lacron carver to carve out the lingual fossa and marginal ridges, making sure the ridges are higher than the fossa. After doing so, you can begin carving out the mesial and distal outlines and defining this to incisal and mesioincisal angles using the carver. Keep in mind that the mesial outline is straight while the distal outline is rounded and this to incisal angle is more rounded than mesioincisal angle. This is how your final tooth should look like. Keep in mind that it's okay not to get it right from the first time. You can make mistakes and remember, practice makes perfect. Hope you found this video helpful.